Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is going to be a general reading, so please remember to take what resonates and don't manifest the rest. If the shoe don't fit, don't make it. Ah. So right off the bat, I'm getting the illusion is over. Seven of Cups to the Ten of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. Whoever this person was that was taking the notes and taking their time and trying to feed you some kind of illusion, possibly about yourself, um, it's over. They can't, they can't do this anymore. You done. Close the door on that ass. You got the Ace of Cups is what's crossing you. There is definitely some kind of unconditional love here coming in for someone. Maybe this is what they were trying to paint an illusion about. We have the Magician, which is Gemini and Virgo energy. And we have a wish come true. Again, a dream is a wish your heart makes. So, somebody made a wish with their heart. And they're getting it. That is the challenge here. Most recent past. Somebody got exposed. Leo energy. So... Nine of Wands and the Hermit. Come out, come out wherever you are. You don't have any choice. Spirit ain't leaving you any choice. Virgo and Leo energy. The exposure that's happening is super, super real. It, did it hurt? Was it uncomfortable? Well, yeah. It's a nine of wands. So it, it's, it's definitely not a comfortable position to be in. But, viewer, you stood there with your nine wands and you said, you know what? I'm going to throw in a tenth one and this is going to be over once and for all. The immediate future. Queen of Wands. Four of Wands. The Six of Wands. Whew. Somebody seriously got the hots for you and want, want, wants to give you the Four of Wands. They want to come in and they want to give you everything. The whole nine. They think you are super, super hot. They definitely see you as the Queen of Wands, which is somebody who goes after what they want and doesn't take no for an answer. Just keeps going, busting, busting, busting a move. Okay, now we have Pisces as factors affecting the situation. The deep, deep knowing and intuition of somebody, even if they can't see something, they still see it. The devil in the tower. The devil got a tower. Poor thing. And this is how you kind of got to look at this. These people, they they tried something stupid here. With with the seven of cups, they tried something really dumb. And they got a tower. The devil tried to bring you a tower. He didn't understand what was going on here. The moon reflected it back. That's what Pisces does. So, before you go and try to deflect energy or manipulate energy for somebody who's going to reflect it back, I would cross your T's and dot your I's. Because when that mirrors back to you, yeah, 
You better have receipts. You better have receipts for that fuckery. You're not going to escape the karma. Mm -mm. Look. Can't make it up. Capricorn. The devil. This is somebody who's obsessed. 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 With, with trying to make you count your pinnacles. Trying to make you... Yeah, it was all a lie. It was all bullshit. Seven of, seven of Swords now with the, with the Four of Pentacles, the World card. This was all a lie. You kept your God up, whoever you are. Queen of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands, the Devil. Somebody knew that this person was toxic. And they kept their guard up. This person... Man... I'm just saying. Who got that kind of time? My stomach's growling. Three cups as the hopes and fears here. All will be revealed. Uh oh. So, whoever this person was that was feeding you illusions about their obsession and, and, and whatnot here. Uh, I got Scorpio energies with the Three of Cups. They had something hiding under their hat and they wanted to give it to you. Look what they wanted to give you. A permanent ending. Guess what's going to ricochet? Whoever you are that did this, I, I, I feel bad for you. I really do. Because you are a poor thing. If you think that you can... I don't know it, what you did here, but I, I see somebody is totally obsessed in a get-even, get, you know, like... Very hateful energy. And whoever you are, when you put up your boundaries and walked away... That was the best thing you could have done. Aw. They upset you didn't accept they shtick. <laughs> Dope. The Ace of Wands, the Five of Cups, and Justice. <laughs> so, your justice here, male or female, because that, that's a phallic symbol, so it's usually masculine. It's Aries energy. Um, final outcome is that they butt hurt. Seriously. Because you did not accept this offer. You're not going to. It wasn't the offer that, that you wanted. I mean, even, even if it was an offer that you wanted, you don't want it now. I got judgment and justice. Ooh. Ooh. They got to give something back. They took something. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. They stuck. They can't do nothing because there's legal paperwork involved. It has to be signed by the right person in person by a notary with an ID. And whether or not they have your ID, if you don't, if they don't look a thing like you, they can't use your ID. They might have been able to get away with it for a little minute, but, um, yeah, it didn't go over well. Now they go into cult. And, yeah, and it's over. Whatever this karmic wheel was that you were on is over with this lover. This king of pentacles who thought they could manipulate your reality. They thought they could do anything they wanted. And uh, they forgot the part in in, in, uh, in the law of attraction and, and magic and all that. Where it's do as thou wilt. But the catch is you gotta have morals. 
You got to have values. And you can't harm another person. You can't send that shit out. Because even if it doesn't come back immediately, it will eventually. Yeah. It always comes back. The Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius energy. Oof. This person did not want you to see this brand new beginning. They did everything they could to keep you from manifesting. Yeah, they wanted you to let go of this. Look. They wanted you to let go of a fortune. Could even be family. And viewer, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I feel like this person's going to show up and knock on your door. Because they're going to they're trying to see if something worked. Ace of Cups is the challenge I, I, you know, if this is family viewer, I feel like you still love these people no matter what. You would still say, you know, I love you, but I just, I can't be around you anymore. They can't go with you. They, they can't because they're, they're too busy living in an illusion and letting go of the wheel of fortune, which is supposed to be their destiny. Their challenge was you. And it looks like they might have failed. Celebrated too early. Now they're watching you heal. And glow up. And ride on out into the sunset anyway. Celebrating your life. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, all they can do is watch. They breadcrumb the hell out of you. Could be an Aries. Somebody who is waiting, like I said, the tables are turned here. They have no choice but to give this up. And it's going to break them. It literally is going to break them. They got rich. Off of your pain. Now they're stressed. Because you're the star. And there's a dream come true. And these illusions are shattered. Shattered. Whoever you are. The, the smoke screen you put up for my viewer. Out of obsession, greed, whatever it is has been shattered like a broken mirror. In fact, that might be part of this deal. Maybe they were doing magic in the mirror. Magic mirror? Yeah, yeah. Look into it if you don't know about it. it it's, it's a real thing. So, what they wanted for you is not to be able to look in the mirror. No, they can't. Because... They came at you. Like I said, one of the main, one of the most important laws of the universe is do not harm another being. You gotta have morals. You gotta have ethics. Because the, the more you project into somebody else's life, negativity, harm, obsession, control, this person tried to control your destiny. They tried to stop something. King of Pentacles, that is Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So it could have been a couple different people. Could be a Virgo and a Taurus. Or a Leo and a Taurus. Or a Capricorn and a Taurus. Or a Sagittarius and a Taurus. Or a Pisces and a Taurus. I mean... I feel like there's definitely Taurus energy here. I don't know who this Taurus is, but I, I'm getting strong Taurus. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said. 
whoever you are, viewer. I feel like somebody found the tr found out the truth about your heritage, about where you come from, and what you're tied to. So, say for instance, this person. Um, they were brought up like strict Christian or strict Catholic and you were not you you weren't you didn't even have any any religion in your life your whole life you found spirit through your own downfall so you had to rise back up from the dead and in in your own Christ consciousness okay the reason why is because maybe your ancestors were like Native Americans or, you know, something that was like high vibrational spiritual path once upon a time. Doesn't mean, you know, you all, all are together now, but... At one time, you know, you had those kind of ancestors. And they're the ones that are delivering your gift now with the Saturn return in Pisces, with all the transits that are taking place with the outer planets, with Pluto, Uranus, Neptune. Those are all once in a lifetime, if you get to be in them in a lifetime, transits. This person found that out. This is what they were trying to stop. Your wheel of fortune and your ten of cups. Because they knew. They knew. And now you're finding out what that is. It, it's being exposed. And you're being able to move on from it. You're being able to walk away. Or to float away. Or to, or to sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away. Come sail away with me. Lad, and there is the Taurus. Oh my God. Look, look, look. Look, look. They're going to give it another go. They're going to give it another go. They're going to try to affect your, your, the, your looks because there is the Queen of Wands. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, they got tricked. They got tricked by a third party. And look what happened to their looks. I think they started it out as this beautiful redhead. And then they got obsessed with money. And they turned into that hideous creature you see dangling the coins. Oh. That's all they grew. That's all they're going to grow. Because you can't... You, God don't like ugly. God don't like ugly. And I feel like this is like, the, the, like that story of like Kronos where... You know, he was sent to the underworld and changed into a, a hideous thing because of the magic that he was doing on other people, baneful, harmful magic, cursing and, 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 and doing, you know, trying to do that to other people. And it turned around and went back on him and sent him to hell. I don't know if it's Kronos. Kronos is the one that eats his children. I think. So, yeah. This person is going to come in and tempt you. Say it's all spiritual. You know, they're going to say, Oh, well, you're my spirit guide. And I'm going to give you... I'm going to... I'm going to take care of you. Pay attention to the fine...
print viewer. Because do not let this person trick you away from your own divinity. Because with the earth angel here, I do feel like that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to trick you away from your own divinity. Temperance energy. Two of cups, two of wands. They're choosing to do this. Whoever you are that's choosing to do this, understand that when that mirror flips, you're screwed. And that is just the law of attraction. That don't have anything to do with God. What you send out will always come back. And this person with the Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, it is only a matter of time. This person will reap what they sow. Period. Period. And it's, it, 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 it's unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. Because collectively, I feel like you're the mirror. You're the mirror here. This is a mirror. I don't see this as, as the unknown at this in, in this reading. Usually I would, but with the sun coming out in the most recent past, somebody found out something here. They were able to move on from it. And because they were able to move on from it, they're now reflecting whatever this is back at the person that sent it. This person is literally being haunted by their own devil, their own demon. Because of the, you know, they went up against God. They went up against spirit. They went up against the Hierophant. Duh. I mean, I want a good reading, guys. And, and this will be a good reading because I'll tell you what. Whatever is going about to be revealed to you is the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. And it's something that maybe spirits got under their hat. And the, and the walls come tumbling down for these mofos. And the walls come tumbling down. That's what they wanted for you. That's what they wanted for you. And 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 if this is this is you dealing with this right now, understand that there's an underlying illusion here with the 7 of cups coming out in the beginning and is the outside influence. There is an illusion here of being stuck. Of, of not being able to move forward. It is something that somebody has placed in your way to try to keep you from manifesting this brand new beginning, which is coming in anyway. They can't stop it. Whoever you are, you can't stop it. Aquarius, Pisces, Scorpio, and Capricorn. You can't stop it. I don't care how many of y'all got together. I don't care if you're a whole damn witch coven. You wish that if you wish ill on another person, it's gonna come back, and and I do feel like this has something to do with um, maybe even manifesting somebody's health because now I've got the three the three of cups and the four of swords. This person is upset that you're healing. You're healing anyway, Queen of Cups, and they're watching it. Page of Swords. They're stalking you, watching you heal, regardless of the illusions that they tried to paint. And I do feel like that might be in health. Health is wealth. You overcame this. You're overcoming it now. And you're not taking the devils off them. They expected you to take it. They expected you to accept it because... They were making it sound really, really good, especially the money. Especially the money. 
It is the love of money that is the root of all evil. And I don't know why I'm being guided to say that. But maybe it's because the Ace of Cups is and, and is, is clarified by the King of Pentacles. So it isn't, it isn't money that is the root of all evil. It is the love of money that is the root of all evil. Because they, they, they've put, placed that above a human life. They've placed it above, you know, human worth. Like I said, there are rules in manifesting. There are rules in magic. And do as that wills. Set it and forget it. Or face the mirror that you put in front of others. Because whoever you are, viewer, this brand new beginning is coming anyway. You could be getting a text, call, email any day now about somebody who's going to be very, very generous to you. And I do feel like this is what they were trying to stop. No accounting for taste. They could have even been involved with another person doing this with the Three of Cups. They could, there could have been two bullies on one person. And the, and the one person still came through. Because like I said, they were a f reflection. They were divinely protected. And they were a, a reflection. And it went right back. Mature man change. Yeah, this is going to be brutal for someone. That tower is going to come down hard. Poor thing. Poor thing. So the change here is in the family room. Some secrets are about to come out. Secrets. are about to come out about an illusion in a family dy dynamic. Because your occupation, or whatever this was, was divinely guided down a path of light. Back to home. Whatever that means for you. So... I do feel like there is a house and some wealth here that's been hidden from you in, in family secrets. You may have to do a little investigation to uncover what this is, but I don't think you're going to have to. I think it's going to be all of a sudden like, boom, it's going to happen with the tower there and the devil twice. It could even be your own business taken off. It's going to allow you enough money to buy a house or something. It's a pathway. It's a pathway you opened up and changed maybe even some family karma. Because you chose to change. You chose to show up. 1121. Now you've changed, it's like you've changed an entire lineage, an entire group. Maybe even, maybe you're, maybe you're like me and you had a mom and a grandma that were single moms and had rough, rough, rough time raising their kids. They're no longer here, but I know they're here with me in spirit. And I know they got my back in the, in the ethers. You don't mess with my grandma. I'm <laughs> just saying. She might not be here on earth anymore. But if she's up there floating around like an angel, you don't want to mess with my grandma. <laughs> she might only be five foot two, little Italian Indian lady, but she kick your ass. <laughs> Especially when it comes to her children and grandchildren. Yeah, somebody was driven here 
by passion, insane chemistry, like each other equally, having fun. Now, you may have just met somebody, and that is what has... Poor thing. The phoenix in reverse. So... You ascend in any way. Somebody refused to transform. But you got what you got what was coming to you, this ace of cups. Cupid Zero. And whoever the other person was lost a relationship. Cause they stuck in the past. And they let in a third party control their destiny. So, with those cards coming out like they came out, somebody refused to transform. They refused the gift that Spirit gave them, which was you. And now they're watching you ascend fall in love with life again maybe doesn't mean that you know with the ace of cups is the only you know energy here i feel like that's more you viewer falling back in love with your life you are not even considering going back to this past at all not even a little bit you're moving past that you're enjoying what has been gifted to you thus far. And you're moving and shaking and making stuff happen all by yourself. Very quickly, I might add. And Ace of Wands is super duper strong. <laughs> Can you say haters? Yeah, they mad because you're getting a new beginning. You started at zero point. Well, they're going to have to go back to the drawing board and start at zero point just like you did. And they're going to have to go through a whole dark night of the soul and dealing with shit and like you had. Yeah, it keeps popping out. Somebody is seriously hating on your on your destiny here. A new beginning in destiny and partnerships and alliances. Financial changes, material changes. Triumph, Empress. Ah, obstacles and challenges in reverse. Wishing a bitch would. Like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be over here getting my destiny and you can watch. Not that you care, viewer. At this point, I don't think you even care. I think it's it, it's zero one zero. Wow. Um, I think it's to the point where you're not even looking at it anymore. You don't care what anybody else thinks anymore. And this is the this is the the energy that they were putting out with that devil energy. They were hating. So hard they were obsessed. And now destinies have been realized. I mean, even if you don't switch, and I don't want you to switch destinies with this person because I don't want you enveloping that kind of energy, which is this energy. Even if they have done wrong to you, forgive them. Let it go. They dumb. They didn't listen to their higher self. In fact, they may not even have a higher self. They could be a drone, for all you know. And because they don't have their own power, they hate you for having your own power or taking it back. Maybe they were living off of your power this whole time. And you didn't know it. I think you know it now. That tower coming in is some serious downloads. Somebody's definitely finding out they are in the scheme of things. 
and where their destiny is taking them. We're going to get a couple love messages. And then we're going to go to universal messages and the dragons and Isis. You are the most caring and loving person I have ever known. Looking through our conversation makes me miss you immensely. And I still have hope that we will be together again. Well, I think you're going to be disappointed. I think somebody's going to get five of cups and ten of wands here. Whatever this is, it's over. There, I, even even though this this person is going to try to tempt you, and they may even try to pay you off. Like so, something doesn't come out about them. They may try to give you money to keep you shut up about what the, whatever this is. I don't know. You know, I don't know what this is. Okay, so we got Pillar of Light and Flower of Life. Damn, those are pretty strong cards. It says Pillar of Light burning bright, Earth Star below, Soul Star above. Burn away all that is not light. Transform all into unconditional love. Your Star of Isis descend. Your blessing and peace without end. Grace me now with peace and protection. Completely embraced by divine perfection. I like this card. I think it's the first time I've ever gotten this one. It, it is a rhyme. Flower of life. You are entering a fertile period of your life. You're, you're guided to think of yourself as a creative being and surrender your, your control over how things will manifest and instead allow them to do so. Don't resist change. Instead, go with the flow and let it happen. Now is the time for your blossoming. Beautiful. Beautiful. I am loving the end of this reading. It's like, <laughs> hate me all you want. I'm getting my blessings anyway. What, what was it? Somebody um, somebody made a reference to like Beyonce. Like she just made like $600 million on one, one um, tour. <laughs> what makes these people think that she cares about haters? I mean, fuck. That kind of money, that kind of lifestyle, yeah. Why, why, why would she care about these haters? Of course not. And that's what these haters are, are finding out, that, that you don't care. Your life is so special. Treat it with loving care, and I think that's what you're doing. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Destiny. You have such a bright... Such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. Say goodbye to your past and leave the baggage behind for good. Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe and let it go. And you must forgive to be free. So do it for yourself. Like I said, there's, 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 you know... There's something here that you definitely need to forgive your because in order for you to have this new destiny and this new beginning in partnership, you're going to have to let something go. Because it, this person is refusing to transform themselves. It has nothing to do with you. And you've got to let that go. Because there's something new forming for you. A new path opening up for you. A beautiful new path. Full of abundance and maybe even a new house. Like I said, you are reflecting that back to them because you're at peace. Look, 
the emergence. Wow, 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 wow. So let me read this to you because um, I don't think I've ever gotten that one. I don't know. But I do feel like, uh, viewer, you have found peace. And, and because you found peace, and you are going with the flow. Everything these people sent back, sent out is going back. And you're going to witness this in real time. I mean, you're, you're going to see those fall that wanted to see you fall. It ain't going to be pretty. It ain't going to be pretty at all. It says... Allow me to pull together your scattered energies. This beautiful and gentle dragon encourages us to be kind to ourselves. Now this is about self-love. Encourages us to be kind to ourselves. We frequently push ourselves too hard in our lives. Whether this is at work or at home. We forget who we truly are. And can miss the beauty in life as we become self-absorbed. This dragon's energy guides to guides us to an inner tranquility, helping us to feel and trust that everything is fine. Finally, we begin to see and understand the beauty and lessons in all things. Although incredibly powerful, this tranquil dragon brings the energy of a gentle bliss like the early morning summer sun, giving us a sense of completeness we previously lacked. If she has come to you today, her message is this. Allow me to pull together your scattered energies so that you can feel a sense of peace enter your soul. Every, vibra every situation has a legacy, but alas, occasionally it can take a little time to appreciate or understand this fully. Let my presence help rela release, relax, that too. Release any negative feelings for you are a are truly a creator and are immensely powerful. By allowing peace to enter our lives, we enable our very beings to carry more light. We become beacons for others to follow. But in order to do this effectively, we must release our need for control. If life has been dull, or you are feeling generally out of sorts. Call upon peace to lift your blues. She will support you by showing you the beauty of life and help you to celebrate your experiences here on earth. But remember, you can only do this if you relinquish your need for control. When you do so, you will feel lighter, brighter, and more connected to the universe, which is your destiny. All right? Well, those are your messages. Please remember to press the like button, subscribe, and share. And we have $50 one question, 15 minute readings uh, going on until Christmas. So please get in touch with me. Um, it's my gift back to you guys for Christmas. And uh, if you come to my live streams, You'll be entered in to win the ninety nine dollar, um, or it's really a hundred and twenty, but I kind of got it out on sale too. You're gonna win that reading uh, on Christmas Eve. That will be announced. Okay, y'all take care, and I'll see you next time. Till then, bye for now.